So the mirrors came out pretty good. Um, one issue though, I'm gonna make a video on it this week when I get a chance. So I bought the work truck model, right? There's no harness in the door for the mirrors at all, none. So I'm literally gonna have to take these and wire them myself. I got no choice, so that's where we're at with that. And this is the rear bumper I did with the LEDs. They're random, my reverse lights on a dual switch. And then uh, I put the reverse camera in, just a little cheap one, but it works. I'm about to paint the emblem tomorrow. I did the custom offsets thing. Put my Instagram name, put the leather guard box on. The truck's coming along pretty nicely. I've uh, been doing a lot. I'm waiting on my headlights still. This one's so smoky, I hate it. This other one's clear. I was gonna rip them apart and paint them, but I'm not gonna now. I just ordered new ones. Got it tinted. Got them tow mirrors, toolbox, wheels. Gotta get that little bit of rust fix. I did the rear bumper. And now it's time for the tow mirrors, baby. The custom tow mirrors. Switchback LED tow mirrors. Oh yeah. Looking good. Looking good. Alright, so I'm making this video for anybody with a 07 to 13 Silverado uh, work truck model. Um, as you guys probably know, there's a, you know absolutely nothing that comes with these trucks. No power, you know what I mean. I did that. It was a pain. I did that. It was a pain. But so what we're gonna cover in this is uh, there's no power to the door. I was under the impression that a harness was still ran from the factory just chilling you know behind this this door for the mirrors uh, I was wrong so uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it I got them on already um, they came out really good so I'll kind of talk you guys through what's going on <clears throat> um, what I'm doing I've never done it before but it's it's kind of self-explanatory. Uh, if any of these are going to do it, I suggest getting one of these guys. A little 9-volt battery. Um, I'll show you what it's for in a little bit. So, you got a bunch of wires here. These are what uh, came with the mirrors, this harness right here. So, all of them and then the purple and black. For those of you who don't know, um, this purple and black wire right here, this one right here that's for uh the flood lamp or reverse light whatever you want to call it this light here. that's for that light um i'll show you guys everything i'll show you how i'm gonna run it where i run it to but a lot of you guys are gonna have to tap somewhere different because i actually have these lights back here wired up already into the front so I'm already actually tapped to my reverse lights up in the cab, so it's a lot easier for me. It's not hard, but so that's what the purple and black's for. And then next you got this red and black wire. I'll grab this too so you guys can kind of see. I tossed it somewhere. Don't mind the big wiring mess. I hate wiring. No, that's not it. It's around here somewhere. Here it is. Alright, so this is what came on the end of this, minus the purple and black one. Okay. So there's a red and black wire here, kind of, you know, secluded. And then you got five pins. You got a gray, orange, yellow, white. I honestly, as of now, do not know what they're for. 
I know what the purple and black's for, and I know what the red and black here's for. Now these, I'm assuming that gray and gray are going to be for heat, for the heated mirrors. I'm assuming that white is the power for the gray and gray. I'm assuming. And then these two here, I'm, I'm assuming that they're for the running lights somehow. But like I said, I don't know yet. So I'll show you guys how to find stuff like that out. Alright, this is going to be really hard for me to do one-handed. But, so, the way that this comes in handy is you got a plus and a minus. I'm going to try to do this with one hand here. I don't know how well it's going to work. I'm sorry, guys. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. See the blinker on the mirror? How it's on right now? Now it's off, now it's on. So, I, I'm doing it with one hand, so. But, so that's what this little guy's for. You touch them, and you test it. So that's how I found out that these are for the blinker. And those two wires actually are for the glass blinker, and they're for the smoked lens on the front blinker. So that takes care of both of those. So I got it written down here. And I'm just going to keep on going until I find out exactly what's what. And then uh, write it down and then wire it all up. So I'll check back in when I find out what's next. Alright guys, I'm back. So what I did so far is I ran the purple and the black wire on this side up under here to that side. I'll get under there and show you. And then, like I said, I tied it into uh, wires that I already had up there for these lights down here. And now what I'm doing is uh, I'm trying to figure out which wire is what for my blinker and my running light. And then I got these ran through here that I'm going to tap into that, pull them back into the door, and then run my red to my running light and my yellow to my turn signal and then black ground i'll probably just ground it in the truck i believe yeah I'll, I'll just ground that in the truck so that's where i'm at right now i got my reverse lights working when i put it in reverse they go on um and then yeah so that's where we're at right now I will not have, sorry, I'm get Mr. Softy. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but we get an ice cream truck that drives around. He's right there. A dollar for a twist with sprinkles. Can't go wrong. But, uh, so yeah, I'll check back in after that. But what I was saying is I will not have power mirrors. It sucks, I know, but unless I buy the panel or some kind of switch, no power mirrors for me, but I'm fine with that. I'm not worried about that. So it's a couple days later. Um, I was just editing the video that I made on the tow mirrors. And I noticed that I said a couple things wrong um, in, you know, the heat of the moment and this and that. So I'm just going to kind of walk through again what I did um, and show you guys. Uh, again, just a super quick recap. Uh, I have a 08 Silverado work truck model. There was no harness in the door, no power, nothing. So the mirrors that I got from Boost, I had to wire every hard wire everything. So what I mean by that is, and I'm actually still working on it, it's a pain. So I'm going to put this video out to you guys with where I'm at, but I'm also going to make a follow-up because I'm waiting on parts. So don't, don't freak out. I still got this off. It's, all right, so listen. I'm gonna do a really fast over recap, over recap. <laughs> so the mirror harness, it's got a purple and black wire, super fast. Reverse lights, ran them across. We'll talk about that in one second. Red and black, them are for the blinkers, for both the the glass side and the back. So boom, purple and black taken care of. Red and black taken care of. These two gray ones. For the heated mirrors, one's upper, one's lower. They go to the same thing. 
polarity does not matter. So, you gotta run them to a switch. I'm gonna make a separate video on that. Moving on. These three wires here. Orange, yellow, and white. That's all that's left, right? What that is, is it's um, functionality of the mirror to adjust the, the tow mirror glass. So, what I've came up with so far, and I'm going to make a separate video on just these coming up. I'm, like I said, I'm waiting on parts, and I'll, I'll put a picture in. They put a picture in for these guys of what I'm talking about. I'm waiting on a switch for this. The switch that I bought, I found on eBay. It just has that little mark on it there. You know, the little heat mark. You press it, and it goes on. I'm going to run that to that. I'll make a video for you. Now, these, what was confusing me is... So I touch this one to power, it makes the mirror go up. No, so it makes the mirror go left. I touch this one to power, it makes the mirror go right. So okay, cool, left, right. Touch the white one, this is where it gets tricky. Sometimes I was touching it and the mirror was going up. And then I would, you know, wait a little bit and touch it and the mirror would go down. So I'm, and I'm sitting here thinking like, what, what in the hell, you know? So what I came to realize is that this wire, this white wire, as of now, needs to be split into two and ran to a switch one up one down left right boom 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 so these three wires will actually control the mirror left right up and down and these two are for heat okay so we'll leave it at that um i'm gonna post a video up of you know the reveal of these mirrors and stuff for now but don't worry i'm gonna come back through and i'm gonna come back through and finish making you know, the rest of the video, like I said, I'm waiting on parts. I'm covering the camera up. Um, I'm waiting on parts now to, to finish that video. So, um, yeah, that's that. So, hope you guys enjoy the tow mirrors. My next video is going to be installing fog lights. Okay, so my truck, don't mind this, I put this in. It's for the, it's a dual function switch. This is nothing that's always on. And that's when I put it in reverse, it comes on. So the next video that I'm doing is fog lights. Um, like I said, this piece here, this little button right here at the bottom, you can see that. Fog lights. This is, I dropped you guys. This is what mine looks like on my truck right now. See that? That's, that's the difference. So. That's what we need there with the fog light switch. Um, it'll plug right into it. Same thing. And then uh, I'm going to make a video on it, long story short, so keep watching. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use these 200 watt ones. A little sneak peek. There's a whole parts bag. It's crazy. I don't know if I'm going to use these. Um, if any of you guys have seen the truck, you know that my back bumper has lights like these but them are 40 watts a piece on the back bumper there 40 these are 180 watts a piece so I don't know if that's going to be overkill for for fog lights I'm trying to figure that out now I got a ton of parts coming in um, I'm waiting on like 14 packages so as, as the parts come in I'm going to just keep putting videos out it's the best I can do. Some some stuff's taking a while, um, honestly. I got stuff coming from uh, dealerships all over that are that are sourcing them to Buffalo, and then I'm going to pick them up. I got FedEx dropping shit off. I got USPS dropping stuff off. Like I, I'm waiting on a lot of parts. So uh, I'm hoping that this week I can get the fog light video done. And then I got cab lights coming. I'm gonna do a video on the install of those. Um, I have rock lights coming if you guys know what them are. They're lights that go around the wheel wells and stuff like that. And then uh, I'm going to I'm gonna coat my rear wheel wells. I'll make a video on that. Sand them down, get rid of the rust and shit. It's starting to rust a little bit. Uh, rust convert it and then I think go bed liner over the top for a little protectiveness. And then uh, we'll just keep making videos. Like I said, I'm... I'm I'm feeling this YouTube thing and I'm really trying to dive in so we're just going to keep on making videos and see what happens so peace out guys see you on the next one.